Hey guys, uh, welcome to your new moon reading for uh, Gemini. Um, this is uh, this can apply to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. So uh, this is the moon, new moon that's occurring on January 2nd, 2022 in Capricorn. We're going to take a look at what's around you guys, what you guys need to know, what you guys could expect. So this could be in anything. Um, we'll just see what the cards pick up. Nothing specific here. So just apply this to your own unique situation. Switch the roles if you want. Uh, keep in mind that this is just a general reading, so just take what resonates and leave the rest behind. Uh, if this message did resonate, take a look at your other placements. If you guys haven't done so yet, hit the subscription button and the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post. Give this video a thumbs up. Like this video so that this message can circulate around to the individuals that need to hear this. Share this video with someone if you feel like there's someone out there that you know that needs to hear this and leave a comment down in the comment section below if this message resonates. And for those of you guys that are interested in booking a private personal reading with me, the link is in the description box below. So we'll pull some Oracle and we'll get into the tarot, okay? All right, what messages do we have for Gemini regarding this new moon in Capricorn occurring on January 2nd, 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What does uh, Gemini need to know? What can Gemini expect regarding this new moon? Oh, uh, so be humble. Okay, so this is a uh, focus on your sacral plexus here. So first quarter moon in um, Leo. You know, so this the sacral plexus is where, you know, your creativity is stored, you know, your, your sexual energy, your sexual prowess, prow I can't even say that. I'm just going to skip that word. And your inner desires, okay? So there could be things that you're trying to pursue here or that you're humble in regards to your achievements regarding your creativity here, okay? Um... Let's see. What else do we have here? Focus on the pos positivity. So I feel like you're um, being humble and trying to focus on the positives here, okay? Sort of focusing on how far you have come, Gemini. So Leo, Sagittarius, you can have any of those energies in your chart. Could be dealing with any of those energies in and around you, past or present here. Uh, full moon in Gemini. Embrace the flow of life. I do feel like there's this energy of overcoming. There's this energy of living footloose and fancy free here, I feel, Gemini. Okay? Uh, we have first quarter moon in Pisces on, honoring your feelings here. So this is the crown chakra. Okay? So this is, you know, in regards to... Your consciousness, getting messages from the divine, getting messages from spirit here. Seems like, you know, you could have been this energy of, you know, kind of being highly, sort of like high energy, you know, sort of a, like a lot of energy flowing through you, sort of moving around a lot and stuff like that. And I feel like you might be calming down in a way or slowing down or just kind of like taking a little break for yourself here. So let's see what else we have here for you, Gemini. What else does Gemini need to know about this uh, new moon in Capricorn occurring on January 2nd, 2022, Sun, Moon, Rising, oh, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. Tell me about be humble. Oh, be humble, two of swords, okay. I feel like you're getting the clarity that you need. I feel like you're unblocking your sacral plex, sacral plexus, sacral chakra here. And then the eight of swords. Yeah, there's this energy of feeling trapped. You know, perhaps you had issues with, you know, intimacy here. Um, perhaps you have uh, issues with creativities and pursuing your desires here. And now I feel like that's starting to open up here for you. You could have done a lot of inner work here. You could have done, uh, you could have, uh, you know, changed your mindset about your, um, your, your self-confidence here too. Uh, why is focus on the positive here? Why is focus on the positive here? Five of wands. 
I feel like you're no longer fighting yourself and I just feel like you're loving yourself for who you are a love or loving yourself for uh, you know the things that you're interested in the things that you love things that you're passionate about um, we have the lover's card Gemini more Gemini energy we have the king of wands here and the six of wands yeah there's this energy of overcoming here or being victorious and success, successful basically this king of wands is a very passionate energy it's the energy of going for what you want going for what you desire here so and this is looking really 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 good here uh, gemini okay so you might have some fire in your chart we have lots of fire and air here yeah lots of Basically, yeah, we have, you know, we have the swords here and the wands, okay? Uh, what else do we have here for Gemini? Oh, we have the hermit. Yeah, so, you know, I feel like you guys started pursuing spirituality as a tool for you to overcome um, some of these challenges that you have been through, you know, regarding your desires here, regarding trusting, um, you know, um, you know, messages that you're getting from the divine and spirit here. And I really feel like you're really looking within and really trusting those messages that you're getting here and utilizing those messages to help you um, overcome these challenges that you've been through. Five of Wands and the Lovers. We have the Tower here, Aries Scorpio energy. It's like this energy of no longer crying over spilled milk. Or that there's this energy of no longer uh, controlling what you can't control, you know, um, and, you know, and what you can't control is, you know, outside from yourself. So I feel like you're trying to, you know, just stick with within and what you know uh, you could control, uh, which is with yourself, you, you know. So the King of Wands and the Six of Wands here, Justice, Libra energy. You know, there's this energy of definitely balancing things out here for yourself. Perhaps with this Justice card, you could be clearing out karma. Clearing out karma that you've been through here in your own life, perhaps generational and ancestral here too. There's a lot of spiritual work here. There's some spiritual ascension here that's going on, I feel. The Hermit. Because I'm getting the, the, the crown chakra here being super, super, super open for somebody, okay? We have the Ten of Wands here. So I feel like you're releasing the confusion and just releasing this physical, mental, and emotional prison that you've been in here. Tell me about this tower. The Hangman, Piscean Energy. So these tower moments that you've had in life, I feel like you're learning from them. You're definitely going through some major spiritual awakening, I feel, um, uh, Gemini. Justice in the Page of Cups. So Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. I feel like you're getting in touch with your inner child here in a very positive way. Yeah, I feel like you're trying to enjoy yourself more and trying to have fun more here too. I feel like some of you guys might be pursuing your art sort of like some self, uh, sort of like part of your self expression, trying to express yourself through your art because that sacral um, chakra represents your creativity. I feel like you're trying to be more creative here too. Uh, the chariot here, cancer energy, could be dealing with the cancer here. Whatever this is that you're doing here for yourself, I feel like you're gonna be very victorious and successful here. <clears throat> I feel like for some of you guys, I feel like you're ex applying spirituality into your art. So I'm getting like, you know, creating like, you know, mandalas or something like that, or, or, or like, you know, um, you know, kind of shapes like forming together into like spiritual pieces, you know, these pieces, you know, might mean something to you. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm kind of getting that. Um, what else do we have here? the eight of pentacles you're definitely putting a lot of effort into i feel like you're putting a lot of work and effort into your art here if you're pursuing art i feel like you're utilizing this art to inspire others to heal artwork could be very healing yeah artwork can be very very healing and the star here there's this energy of definitely giving back 
you know, giving back to yourself and giving to others here with this uh, star card. You know, this is the energy of, you know, um, you know, being a service to others. You know, to me, this card is a representation of being a doctor, a nurse, a scientist. It could also be, uh, uh, it could be also uh, someone here who does light work, okay? So I feel like someone here, like I said, is applying their artwork to spirituality, using that to inspire others to heal. Um, we have the Five of Swords here. Let's see. In the bottom of the deck, we have the High Priestess. There's this energy of deathly ascending, spiritually ascending, being wiser here, being more connected to your intuition, your guides, your angels, spirit here, the divine. And I feel like you're no longer second guessing your work, yeah, or second guessing yourself in regards to the path that you're meant to be on here. So this looks really good, Gemini. So Gemini, if this was helpful, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Share this video, like this video if you haven't done so yet. Subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will speak to you guys in the next one. All right, bye guys.